how to flush and bleed the brake fluid with a bottle. Observe the bleeding sequence recommended by the manufacturer. On the Peugeot 206, the bleeding will be done in this order, front left wheel, front right wheel, left rear wheel, right rear wheel. For a complete brake flush, drain the contaminated brake fluid contained in the master cylinder reservoir. This operation is not required for a simple bleeding of the circuit. Fill the reservoir with the new brake fluid. Bleeding the left front wheel. Remove the protective cap. Place the wrench on the bleed screw. Connect a hose to the bleed screw, for example windshield wash the hose. The connection must be completely sealed, if necessary tight the hose with the rylan. Place a 25 cl bottle up to the bleed screw. Pour 2 to 3 centimeters of brake fluid in the bottle. Place the other end of the hose to the bottom of the bottle. The brake fluid at the bottom of the bottle prevents air to come back through the pipe when bleeding. Press three or four times the brake pedal. Loosen the bleed screw a quarter turn. Slightly move several times the brake pedal by the third of the travel. Do not press the pedal more than a third of the travel. This could damage the seals of the master cylinder if you press the pedal down fully. You can place a block under the pedal to be certain not to exceed one third of the travel. Regularly top up with liquid in the tank, air should never enter into the master cylinder. Tighten the bleed screw. For a simple bleeding operation, stop when there are no more bubbles in the pipe. For a complete flush of the brake fluid let drop from 60 to 100 milliliters of liquid into the bottle.
Refit the wheel. Relieving the right front wheel. Remove the protective cap. Place the wrench on the bleed screw. Connect the hose to the bleed screw. Place the hose to the bottom of the bottle. Loosen the bleed screw a quarter turn. Move several times the brake pedal by the third of the travel. Top up fluid level. Tighten the bleed screw. Refit the protective cap. Bleeding the left rear wheel. Follow the same method for the rear wheels. It is possible that the diameters of the bleed screws are different at the rear and at the front. Use appropriate diameter hose. Bleeding the rear right wheel.
After the bleeding, check the brake by moving the pedal which should be firm. If not, repeat the bleeding to remove air from the brake system. Always do a braking test after the bleeding before taking the road because the presence of air in the brake system can be fatal.